hello hello guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while so today we're making haitian legume so since my last what i eat in a day as a vegan living in haiti video i got so many requests in the comments to just show how to make the haitian legume so right now i'm just showing you my ingredients we have some eggplants we have carrots we have cabbage um, we also have some green peppers, everything from the local supermarket, and also some lien panier, uh, substitute for spinach, and let's get going. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously your bum to cook, what we call it, bum in Creole. So I'm going to cook my eggplants, as you can see. So just cutting them in round pieces nothing too serious about it so the next thing that we're gonna do is cut our cabbage just make sure that you cut it in really tiny pieces um, because me personally you'll see it at the end of the of the video so I cut them a little bit too big I found a solution afterwards you'll see but um, just to save you some time just make sure that you cut them in really little pieces since the beginning now i'm gonna turn my oven on and in the bomb that has the cabbage and the eggplant i'm gonna put water yes that's right water because i'm not gonna use any oil for this recipe so i'm gonna put uh, my a piece For those who don't know how to make a piece, I'll make sure I put it in the description below. Okay, and then you just leave it on the fire. Um, the next thing is that I'm going to cut my carrots in little round pieces. So here we go. So then I put my carrots and my peppers on the cabbage and eggplant. I added some tomato paste and a little bit more water. The goal is to make sure that uh, there's enough water for the apis to sit so that all your legume, all your vegetable can just absorb all of the flavors. At this point, it's great to taste the water to make sure that, you know, you have the desired flavors. So at that point, I realized that I was missing a little bit of salt. So I added salt and sriracha. I then took out the cooked pieces of carrots and I'll explain why. It's a trick that my cook Miriam gave me. Um, you know, you don't have to do it, but I just do it because she told me to. So now like a real Haitian, I'm gonna use my mush pilon to just crush everything together, make sure that everything is squished and nice and all mushed together. <laughs> I had a little piece of carrot in there. Just get it out. Now I'm gonna taste my water again. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect, delicious. Now that my tofu is looking nice, we're going to add the lien panier. You can also use spinach if that's what you have.
don't ask why i'm using this big spoon but i'm going to crush the cooked carrots and little pieces I could not keep myself from tasting. Even the carrots were so flavorful from the apis. Then added my pieces of carrots. Remember I told you that my cabbage was too big? I had to take it out and cut them into little pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. So since, I know it's been two years, so since then a lot has happened. I had a beautiful baby girl. She's six months now. I'm not vegan anymore, but I still enjoy some really nice vegan recipes.